showing you guys how I did the hair with the new crochet braid method basically um, so this hair was sent to me by a company called beyond beauty I have a video about one of their hairs on my channel before sincerely I feel like this hair, um, company sells really good crochet braids hair like I've had like four from them already and I really like it like I've never been disappointed so anyways this hair I have on is the 18 inch handmade dreadlock um, goddess locks or whatever it's like a long name I'm going to have it in the description box below um, but it's just basically this and then it has the curls at the end which is what makes it the goddess locks I believe um, the color I have is color 1B um, and one pack sells it goes for um, five dollars and eighty seven cents uh, which is not bad for a pack of hair I used six packs of hair right I you know I used five packs of hair yeah i used five packs of hair for this um style i didn't finish the fifth pack so you can use it does go a long way each pack comes with 24 strands i believe yes each pack comes with 24 strands in it and this let me just show you guys what it looks like this is what it comes in and sorry i know that's probably really loud And this is what it looks like in the pack so this is how much hair it comes with let me count it let me show one two three yep so each pack comes with 24 strands in it and as I said earlier I use five packs it go each pack goes for five dollars and eighty seven cents and this hair is from Aliexpress of course I'm going to leave a link in the description box below for it. you guys can buy this hair from and yeah that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions about this hair then definitely leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you guys at the end bye so my hair is freshly washed and I'm just going to go ahead and um create sections and just make several individual braids around my head i'm going to do from ear to ear When I'm doing the braids, I like to do actual braids from the roots and then when I get towards the end, I just do twists just because it's a lot easier for me. So now that I'm done with all the individual braids, I'm just going to go ahead and act, um, section my hair so I can do actual cornrows. So I'm just doing the regular cornrows, but the only difference is that when I get to wherever an individual braid is, I'm going to grab it and attach it to the cornrow. Um, I hope that makes sense. You guys see what I'm doing. So as you see, I just took that one and I joined it with the cornrow that I have going on. I'm just going to keep braiding and I'm going to do that around so from ear to ear again So this is the hair I was sent. I was sent this hair by a company called Beyond Beauty. I was sent eight packs of this hair and I ended up using just five packs. Um, this is what the hair looks like straight out of the pack. It 
it is a very soft hair as you can see you can literally just squeeze it with your hand like that it's not heavy at all um so it's the goddess locks obviously so it has the curls at the end as you can see there are no flyaways at all the size is okay it's good it's about the size of my pinky finger so now that i'm done with all that i'm just going to go ahead and start crocheting my hair and the regular crochet braid method this is what you should do okay take the pin i mean the crochet hook put it through your braid and then hook your crochet braid onto it and then just slide it through the regular crochet braid method i have a ton of tutorials showing you how i do it so this first one i'm going to do is how you should do it but the second one i'm going to show you is how you should not do your crochet braid notice i put the hook from the bottom of the braid you do not want to do that because when you do that the knot is going to end up being on top of your crochet instead of being underneath it just watch what i'm talking about see i'm even struggling because god knows that's not the way i'm meant to do it just can you imagine <laughs> So as you can see, it's not even staying flat on my head because the knot is not where it's meant to be. So basically, if you want the knot to be um, by the left side of the braid, you have to put your crochet pin um, from the right. So now this is what it looks like after doing that i'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my head um yeah that's pretty much the gist of it So yes guys, that's pretty much it for this um, video. Um, the method I used, I just did it around. So you can just put the hair up in a ponytail and it still looks good. This is great for girls like me that don't, um, that do our hair ourselves, But we also want um, to be able to put our hair in a, in a ponytail, but it's kind of hard to do it. So this is a great method as you guys can see. Um, you can put it up in a ponytail and it still looks like you did actual braids. So that's what I like. Oof! Too much hair on my face. <laughs> that's what I like the most about, about this method. I have a video on my YouTube as well where I did it for the parting space. I wanted to do that this time but I sincerely was just too tired. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So I just did the regular cornrows backwards but this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. If you did, why don't you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on my social media platforms. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.